Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I think this is my second video within seven days. I think that's a new record for me. I'm pumped to be back with another one. If you didn't see it, I recommend checking out my previous video. I kind of went through why I was gone from YouTube for so long. First off, I wanna say thank you guys for all of the love and support on that video. It really means a lot. It really is uh, pretty impactful reading a lot of your own personal stories. So thank you guys for sharing those with me. And uh, in this one, I have a lot to live up to with the title that I, uh, I titled this. The Few future of data science. First off, that title was complete, uh, maybe not like 100%, but like, I don't know, 80% clickbait. Uh, no, definitely like 95% clickbait. I'm not gonna be talking about like da future of data science on the whole really at all in this video, but I will be talking about the future of data science for this channel. So, you know, see what I kind of did there? Then the second part of the title, the Snickerdoodle AI ML framework. What is that, you might ask? Well, uh, that also is just completely made up. It sounded like hilarious. Uh, I thought people might click on this video just because like, what the heck is this? Just such a, a crazy name. And it's like, that framework is just, this is just not a real thing. I'm sorry, uh, but wait, dislike gang, before you uh, smash that dislike button, let me defend myself. Actually, I, I got nothing, uh, yeah, dislike away, but joke's on you because YouTube hid the dislike button, so what you gonna do? No, wait, actually stop. Dislike gang, before you leave, let's just like make up a, a, a thing for the snickerdoodle framework. I don't want this to be 100% clickbait. Let's just say that it is a complete meme framework and you can leverage it how you, how you see fit. Maybe you're talking to a person that you're interviewing for a job and you're like, oh, do you know this framework? Do you know TensorFlow? Do you know PyTorch? If they're just saying, yes to everything you throw in the snickerdoodle framework they say yes to that you know you know they're bull scratch all that hopefully you're still watching what are we going to do in this video well i'm going to just kind of give an update on what i plan moving forward for this channel uh, a lot of fun plans uh, excited to share with you all one of the core themes that updates to the channel are gonna revolve around is that because I'm no longer working a full-time job, I'm gonna need to find new ways to support myself monetarily using this YouTube channel. And ultimately, I wanna make as much YouTube content as possible, but at the end of the day, I still need to pay the bills and all that fun stuff. So I need to find ways to kind of make YouTube more financially supportive and, and sustainable. With that being said, I'm gonna do it in fun ways and it won't impact the overall feel of the channel. So the first way that I'm adding an additional revenue stream to the channel is with channel memberships. Uh, super excited about this. So you start at, there's three tiers and uh, joining as a member, I'm saying that you kind of join the Python army. So the first rank that you can join is the Python army private. And so that starts at 99 cents on Patreon and two or 199 on YouTube. And uh, one of the cool things that gets you on YouTube is these personalized custom Python army badges. The longer you stay a member, the cooler your badge gets, like the higher rank you are. So it's kind of an incentive to continue supporting the channel in a fun way. Uh, if you comment on videos as a member, you'll get a see your badge next to your comment. Also live streams if I ever get into that, same thing. You also have a couple custom emojis that you can use and I'll be adding new custom emojis as we go. If you're on the Patreon side of things, you don't get those YouTube badges. That's why it's a little bit cheaper, but kind of what both channels are gonna get at that private tier is exclusive member only like posts and status updates. It's gonna be nothing like crazy. It's not gonna be, you know, full fledged videos that I only post to the members. It's gonna be more kind of simple things like some of the behind the scenes, like photos. Uh, if I'm traveling, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll send a picture to members that I won't always send to uh, the community abroad. Just little things like that, nothing crazy. Going up one tier, starting at $5.99 on Patreon and $6.99 on YouTube, you can be a Colonel Python Army member. And what this gets you in addition to the perks I just mentioned for the privates is exclusive member only office hours. So basically like, I don't know how often I'll do this, but I'll basically have a Zoom call that anyone that's a member at this tier can join. And basically it's just fair game. You can ask me questions about anything data science related, anything programming related, anything career related, just kind of like open territory to just kind of uh, engage and just like hop on a call, like just hang out. Multiple people can hop on the call at the same time. That's why it's like office hours. So I'm just kind of there to answer questions, just kind of hang out. Should be something fun, I think. And it's a good way to really like connect with all of you guys. So I'm, I'm really excited about the members only office hours. It might be something that I offer to the community abroad, like even if you're not a member, I think the one thing that really makes it a good fit for members only is that if I made it completely public, it might just be overflowing with people and I won't really be able to productively answer anyone's questions as a result. I wish I could do one-on-one -on -one time with all of you, but there's only so many hours in a day. So it's just something that I thought 
would be a cool perk for members. Uh, in addition to that, if you want, you can get your name listed on my new website, keithgalley.com. Excited to, to release that. Uh, you don't have to do that, but just another fun way uh, uh, to kind of, for me to show my thanks uh, for, for membership supporting. Then finally, the general tier, it's a bit more expensive. What you get with the general tier is you get all the perks of the below tiers, but you also get general only office hours access. You know, if there's, let's say 100 members at the kernel tier, maybe there'll be like 10 members at the general tier. So it'll just be a smaller office hours. You'll probably get a little bit more personal attention. Nothing different though. You can join either office hours you want. And in addition on the general tier, you can get your name listed as a general on my website. And also you'll get discounts on merch if I release that. I plan to release some merch at some point, but don't know exactly when, as well as I'll probably release some like exclusive merch to the general tier members. Not 100% certain what that will look like right now. Something fun to play around with. The majority of my content won't change. There'll just be a couple additional things for members. Uh, I guess one additional thing for kernels and generals is I'll probably post some like additional like leak code and strata scratch data science problems and interview questions on those places. But I'll make sure to post more than I've ever posted on public channels that you don't have to pay for as well. So if you want to support this channel in different ways, so becoming a member is one way, but also on my website, there's different ways to support, whether you want to you know, make a one-time contribution. All right, moving on, other ways that I'm going to be monetizing this channel. Uh, I'm also going to be offering paid and free tutoring. I don't know how much we're going to be able to do this. It might like turn out that I just have zero time to do this, but ultimately you kind of thought behind this is on my website, you can book 30 minute, hour, five hours, 10 hours of tutoring uh, with me one-on-one. -on -one, and basically we can go through whatever. There's a couple questions when you're booking a session to kind of like what you need help with. You can book and pay for a session right there. I will note that like sessions are pricey one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I don't have a ton of time to tutor. I love tutoring and I would love to meet with all of you if I could. Um, so this is something that it's definitely going to be limited to who can, can do this. But I also like didn't want to exclude people that you know had no resources to pay for this type of, of tutoring, this type of one-on-one. -on -one. So what I'm going to be doing is that for every hour, and I think it will be this, the ratio might be a bit different, but for every hour of paid tutoring that I do, I plan to offer like a free or pay what you can scholarship to another subscriber. And so to get, to potentially get access to that, I left a Google form in the description, which is like the Keith Galley tutoring scholarship form. And if you're interested in, in getting a free or, you know, maybe just paying whatever you can, whatever you think is reasonable access to tutoring, definitely fill that out. And, uh, based on how much paid hours of tutoring I do, I'll be selecting people for the free options. Unfortunately, I can't select everyone. I'll try to do what I can. And, and you know, if you fill out that scholarship, I'll at least give you a, a response, uh, time willing that, you know, hey, you didn't get it. Hey, you did get it, uh, et cetera. So another fun thing to engage with all of you on a more personal level. A final thing worth mentioning on the monetization side of things is that I'm going to be working with more sponsors moving forward. Ultimately, YouTube AdSense alone, I, you know, it's a decent check each month, but it's not enough to kind of sustain myself. It's not enough of, to live off of. So working with sponsors who can contribute really helps bring in that extra revenue to, to make it viable. I promise that I'm not going to get too in your face with the sponsorship. I plan to kind of, actually one sec. I plan to integrate them nicely into the channel so that uh, you don't even like, like the overall feel of the channel isn't any different. Um, shoot, is it, it's getting hot in here, wow. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so like overall feel of the video is not gonna be any different. Still gonna be like same types of projects. Um, same types of tutorials, but I might kind of have a theme that is based off of the sponsor. Real talk though, the sponsors that I work with, I'm going to make sure that I really believe in their products and ultimately that they have something to offer that is of value to all of you watching. 
I think that's basically it as far as the business side of the channel goes. Moving on to content and what types of content to expect moving forward. I think first off, the same type of content I've posted, nothing's going to change. A lot of long form Python tutorials, data science tutorials, as well as kind of project walkthroughs and kind of that real world data science-esque type of to video. However, that being said, I do want to explore with different types of content. One of my YouTube inspirations is Mark Rober, and I just love how he combines educational content with entertaining content, building all sorts of really cool engineering projects. I would love to do similar type videos with a more programming slash data science focus. Don't know exactly what that will look like, but something that I really want to do eventually on this channel. Another area I might explore is that I have a lot of friends that have built really cool companies, really cool startups. I'd love to do like a little series kind of exploring their startups, talking to the founders and kind of learning from them and, and what advice that they have to up and coming engineers, business people, etc. And then I also want to say that I think there's like a room for a ton of other types of videos, a lot of short, quick tips videos, but I don't want to inflate, have too much content on this channel. When I post on this channel, I want it to be content that I think like everyone can really benefit from. For kind of the more niche videos, kind of the more one-off like simple tip that like might help 10% of the viewers and all sorts of of like cool stuff that I might be experimenting with. I have a second channel, Tech Trek by Keith Galley. I'll link it in the description. I'll also be posting a lot of data science content there and a lot of the more technical, nitty gritty, short form stuff there. So check out that channel as well. And then I guess definitely, if you have ideas for videos I should make, certain libraries you're struggling with, just certain topics you would love me to cover, please let me know in the, the, the comments. I'm, I'm always looking for new ideas. So I would love to hear your input because at the end of the day, you are the ones watching it. So I don't, I, I wanna make content that you really are looking for and enjoy. All right, I think that's all I have for this video. Uh, that's kind of the updates. A couple data science tutorials are coming very soon. Right after I publish this video, I'm gonna start working on those. Make sure to subscribe to not miss those. Ring the bell too, why not? And if this video was enjoyable to you, or if you just wanna show me some love, throw this video a big thumbs up. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace out.